applying this kind of facility, getting cash advance or personal loan or balance transfer, it actually affect part of your credit bureau scoring. In this video, we will actually cover three myths uh, which we commonly heard uh, from our customers that by doing this, will it actually affect their mortgage loan or will it help in terms of their mortgage loan? So the first myth we want to cover today is about credit card. So a lot of people have this misconception that if you have multiple credit cards, it will actually affect your mortgage loan. I would say it's true and not true. Because for credit cards, uh, having a credit card will actually help in terms of your credit bureau scoring. So if you are a first time property buyers and you have not bought any property before, uh, a credit card will actually activate your credit bureau. The banks will be able to see uh, what was your conduct uh, on your credit cards. So if your credit cards conduct are very healthy, the banks will be more than willing to lend you some money. But of course, uh, on the other hand, if you have multiple credit cards, like 10 or 15 credit cards, will it affect your credit rule? It actually depends. If you're using all these 10 to 15 credit cards, it will definitely affect your credit rule because the banks will actually take in a commitment of each of the credit cards. But if you have 10 or 15 credit cards, but you don't utilize them all, and you only focus on two of the credit cards which you are using often, like maybe for petrol or groceries, uh, shoppings, and this is the only two credit cards, it will actually not affect your credit bureau. But if you are going to buy a property soon, my recommendation is that focus your credit card spending to one credit card instead of spreading out your payments to multiple credit cards that might potentially reduce your housing loan amount. And if you are first time buyers, uh, I will actually recommend that to get a credit card because uh, we do see cases that certain banks, they are particular whether you have a credit bureau scoring or uh, you have a credit bureau record. That will actually help the banks to look at your past credit bureau history. So first time buyer, I recommend you to have at least one credit card to activate your credit bureau and so that banks can see your past record of your credit card uh, payment history. That will definitely help for a first time buyer. So myth number two, uh, a lot of customers have this misconception that applying multiple banks will actually affect your credit bureau. Um, the answer is actually not true. Applying with multiple banks will not affect your credit bureau scoring. But if you are purchasing your own credit bureau report, and the banks will look at it this way, why are you purchasing your own credit bureau report whereby you have not even purchased the property? So the banks will do have some concern. Certain banks, uh, when you purchase your uh, credit bureau report for more than two or three the times, uh, the banks actually flag out and this is actually a concern. So if you are looking to purchase a property and you like to file a credit scoring, do not purchase your own credit bureau report. What I would recommend is that apply with a bank, okay, to get your assessment done and let them come back with you on the AIP amount. But of course, we also don't recommend you applying multiple banks because why? Uh, the banks, the bankers who are processing a loan can see that what are the banks you have run a credit bureau check with based on the credit bureau history. So it might not turn out a pleasant experience that uh, this particular banker might not want to focus on your loan application because they can see uh, you have actually uh, talked to like three or four banks concurrently and they will not give you some priorities in terms of your application because they know that you are shopping around. So when you engage a mortgage broker over at KeyQuest Mortgage, we will actually help you uh, to maneuver this process. What we would always recommend is you just need an IPA from one bank because most likely all the banks are using the same system on the credit bureau. Your debt, everything is captured uh, from all the banks are similar. So you just need to get an IPA from one bank to make sure that the banks are able to grant you the loan amount. Myth number three. Uh, so a lot of customers thought that applying a personal loan, balance transfer, or ready credit will not affect their credit rule. Uh, you are actually wrong. Uh, by applying this kind of facility, getting cash advance or personal loan or balance transfer, it actually affects part of your credit bureau scoring. And in the long term run, um, if you have multiple bank transfer, you have multiple uh, personal loan or ready credit, your credit scoring will actually drop. So like on credit will report this, if you have very good credit standing, it should be AA. Um, 
the worst is actually head shape. So sometimes if you have too many of such facility, your credit rating might drop from AA to example BB, CC. So this is one very important reason when you are applying for a housing loan, make sure that uh, you are not applying multiple balance transfer or even if you really have multiple balance transfer, my recommendation will be clear of them in advance, make sure that uh, you always pay promptly on all this facility because if you're late on your credit card payments or personal loan or balance transfer or cash advance, all this will actually penalize you on your credit bureau scoring. So all this will actually affect your credit bureau scoring and in return, when you're applying a housing loan, the banks might penalize you a bit because your credit scoring is not that healthy. There might be some concern when they are borrowing you a full 75% loan amount. The banks might um, actually impose additional criteria on you when you apply for a housing loan that maybe they require you to pledge some of money over there as a security for the banks. So these are the three myths uh, most customers is asking us. So if you have other myth we should like to ask to clarify, feel free to comment below or if you like uh, one of our relationship manager to clarify uh, some of your myth you have, you can also click on the link below. Uh, one of my relationship manager will actually reach out to you and clarify your myth.